We have, and I know this is no surprise to you, an enormous national threat in cybersecurity and in the theft of intellectual property. I have been to four secure briefings by the senior leadership of the American intelligence community that are hair-raising. And to have a hair-raising briefing in my case is particularly good. <laughs> but these are deeply unsettling. And they suggest that companies at all levels, elements of our military, and elements of our research community are being routinely hacked and having fundamental research copied, stolen, and then deployed in other places around the world. Places that are particularly vulnerable tend to be not the most advanced research institutes or the most sophisticated companies, but small and startup technology businesses that are part of the technology development chain that has some defense application. It is exactly at that point where we seem to be most vulnerable and where the NSA is seeing repeat intrusions that are successful. We have significant problems with trade secret theft and with patent and copyright infringement around the world. Some of you may have heard of Wikipedia. <laughs> Lots of people on this state have heard of Protect IP. True confessions, I am a co-sponsor of Protect IP. I think it's about what its name is. I think it's about protecting America's innovation and inventions from wholesale wholesale, large-scale theft overseas. But it has produced a lot of blowback. Wikipedia has gone dark today in protest. Google has a black banner over it. And I have gotten hundreds of tweets and Facebooks, phone calls, and visits to my house from people who are upset because they mistakenly think I am committed to government censorship or to breaking the internet. I am clear that American innovation in the internet has created enormous value for us. Google and Facebook didn't exist and weren't even really conceivable to the average American just 20 years ago. And this is an area where we have, through the internet, made possible dramatic changes in everything from logistics to procurement, from how human resources operates to how school children do their homework. I get that. I'm the co-chair of the Internet Freedom Caucus. I get that access to the internet and Facebook is what drove the Arab Spring. There is a U.S. State Department program that is spending tens of millions of your dollars helping dissidents in Syria, in Iran, in China, and in Egypt previously access the Internet so that they can pursue the human rights agenda, the democracy, and the freedoms that we fight for around the world. I don't think the passage of the Senate version of Protect IP infringes on the fundamental structure and openness of the Internet. I do think that the House version, called SOPA, has overreached, has significant problems, and that frankly both bills at this point are going to have to be modified or they will not pass.